Welcome to Sussex Online TV. I'm Christine Quayle. Today we're here at the Brighton Museum and Art Gallery in the beautiful but very windy Royal Pavilion Gardens. Now we have a very special exhibit that we're going to be talking about, visually stunning, called Capture in Color. I'm here with Sarah and we're on our way up to the current exhibit, Capturing Colour, in these magnificent halls here at the museum. Uh, Sarah, did you want to tell us a little bit more about what the museum does and has to offer? Absolutely. The museum was developed in 1873 as a museum for Brighton. It underwent a major refurbishment in 2002, so all the galleries that you see today are new from that time. Uh, we've got a real mix of collections here. Many of them are recognised as being of national, if not international, significance, mm. including the decorative art material that you see here in this 20th century gallery. In the rest of the museum, we've got local history, ceramics, world art, paintings, drawings, um, and costume. And our newest galleries are our ancient Egypt galleries, which are proving really popular with visitors, particularly families and school kids who are studying ancient Egypt as part of the primary school curriculum. And also, I know you have a lot of uh, events that happen throughout the year. We do. We've got a really lively programme. Some of those events aimed at adults, some at families. Um, we've also started to introduce a programme for young people, yeah. curated by a, a group of young people called uh, the Events Collective. So they're devising those uh, for, for their peers. Uh, we also do a lot of local community and outreach work uh, as well. Fiona. Hi Christine. I've just been wandering around this beautiful exhibit and just wondering if you could tell our viewers what is so exciting about capturing colour. Today we take the moving image for granted and uh, because we're saturated with it so it, this documents the journey uh, and the technology and the innovation of actually searching for uh, coloured film. This is the early part of the story with stereoscopes and still images and we have some Fenningers here and these are very early photographs taken on Brighton Beach and they're actually staged so they do look a little bit like paintings. And, uh, but these work on the same principle but it was much harder to, to move that onto moving image. And this is the next stage of capturing colour where the pioneers attempted to, to put the colour directly onto the film strip. And is that the transition then between still photography and the moving motion picture? Well, some of the techniques didn't transfer exactly, so they mainly used stencils and or dyed the entire film oh. one colour. <laughs> A process we just can't even comprehend now, right? Very, very time consuming. At first, a three-colour technique was developed, um, but it was quite hard to apply to moving image, so they simplified it into a two-colour technique, uh, basically red and green. And this is where our local story starts in earnest, because George Albert Smith was a pioneer of kinema colour, which became internationally renowned and was a fantastic world leader of colour uh, cinematography but he fell out with somebody who had a similar design called William Freeze Green who was also a Brighton & Hove resident and they ended up bankrupting each other in a court battle so You're kidding poor things <laughs> so you can hear all about the story right here yes you can and then it moves right into the wonderful world of Technicolor, Technicolor. yes well squirreling away in, in other laboratories in America were the Technicolor technicians and they um, created a completely different system using three colours that completely superseded the two colour techniques and is what a lot of people... Yeah, it was a huge leap, wasn't it? Yes, and what a lot of people Amazing. understand as, as colour cinematography. This is where the democratisation of colour happens in the new era of technology and we go into Kodachrome and uh, where it really starts to sort of become everybody's favourite medium. The technology just moved on so quickly after Technicolor. We, we moved leaps and bounds. And nowadays, this, with the modern technology, we pretty much can film or grab anything, can't we, with even a mobile phone? Yes, I mean, we've got some exhibits that show how in 20 years the massive camera goes down to the tiny little handheld camera. Amazing. And you can basically film on phones, on, on any sort of camera and digitisation is the new process and it's a whole new journey. 
Well, it has been absolutely wonderful looking around and seeing everything. That was just a quick taste of this wonderful exhibition down here at the Brighton Museum and Art Gallery called Capturing Colour. It's a lot of fun for the whole family, so make sure you come down and support the local arts. Best part of all, it's absolutely free. So I'm going to pass you off right now to Fiona to sign us off. Thank you. Thank you for coming down today and hopefully we'll see more people down here at Capturing Colour. We're on until the 20th of March and uh, thank you for watching Sussex Online TV. Sussex Newspapers, keeping Sussex informed for over 130 years.